This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 6th of September. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather uh, looks relatively quiet today and tomorrow. Showers are possible, but they'll be pretty scattered. But the weekend, we got some big changes. And of course, the tropics are active as they should be this time of the year. Let's take a look early this morning with the sky cam shots. First off, this is the Tuscaloosa view from the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. Things are calm there. That's our Demopolis Sky Cam from the Demopolis Civic Center. Not much of a breeze there with those flags in front of the Civic Center. And on the eastern side of the Birmingham Metro, that's the Trustful Sky Cam. Looks like we got some low clouds hanging over that part of town. There's the water vapor satellite view. Got an upper low that's over Canada, south of Hudson Bay, and that will be helping to spread a spoke of energy across the trough extending from that, and that will help to make our weather change about the time the weekend gets here. And this morning, we note a few showers as I do this update at 5.04 a.m. That's what the radar looks like at that point. We had some showers from near Carbon Hill up to Hackleburg and Red Bay. And uh, those are dropping south-southeast. But overall, I think any showers during the rest of the day today should be fairly widely spaced. Uh, severe weather possibilities today. There's a slight risk out across the breadbasket of the United States. And tomorrow... A slight risk almost down into northwest Alabama. That's with a cold front coming in here, and that will ultimately bring us a better chance of rain on Saturday. Here's the rain for the next five days, valid through Monday evening of next week. And uh, if anything gets its act together in the Gulf, like a Nadine, uh, that seems to be headed toward the Florida Peninsula, and that's a reason for the heavier rain around Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, here, it's suggesting rain amounts of about one inch for the northern half of the state with amounts uh, of one half inch or less down south. And again, the bulk of that will be on Saturday. Tropics are alive with three systems on the board. We have uh, a couple of hurricanes in the middle of the Atlantic, Michael and Leslie. And again, what is the old ghost of Isaac south of Mobile Bay? I thought I'd give you a broad view of the modeling of all three of these things. And, of course, we'll talk about them one at a time, but obviously uh, Leslie and Michael will not threaten the United States. And if Nadine develops, looks like the models want to bring it over toward uh, North Florida. Uh, there's a look at the pressure field in the Gulf. It's analyzed by the RUC model, rapid update cycle early this morning. It's got a 1,011 millibar low south of Mobile Bay. The convection is displaced a bit to the south and west of that center. Hurricane hunters might fly in there. It's a short little trip. You know, they're based in Biloxi. And uh, we'll see what's happening. The NHC guys give it a, uh, what, a uh, 50, 50 chance of developing now into a tropical depression or storm. And, yes, this is part of Isaac. Uh, you know, a chunk of it kind of broke away and headed toward the upper Atlantic coast. A chunk of it broke away and came down south. And since it kind of split, this would get the new name if it develops, and it would be called Nadine. Uh, there's the modeling uh, and a closer look, and you can see most of them take it across north Florida, uh, north of Tampa, north of Daytona, and uh, not affecting us directly. Intensity forecast. Most models do not bring this up to a tropical storm. And like we talked about in pre you know, recent days, the water is pretty cool down there because of the upwelling from Isaac last week. So... There's not a lot of, you know, oceanic heat content available to make this thing stronger. So we'll see one way or the other. It's just going to be mainly a rain producer for Florida. All right, Leslie, this thing is a minimal hurricane. Top wind 75 miles an hour. It's just not moving. It's stuck. It's moving north at one mile per hour. I mean, you can walk faster than that. And uh, there's the track. And, and, you know, it's a tough forecast. Uh, the, the Hurricane Center has adjusted it to the east in response to modeling. And that is great news for Bermuda. I mean, yesterday the Hurricane Center had this thing right on top of that island this weekend. Now it's got it a little to the right, and that would be a good thing. And, and look, it's like a needle in a haystack out there. It's a very tiny speck. But again, everybody on that island needs to watch this thing very carefully. And there's Michael. This thing just meanders out there. Uh, you know, they've got it as a major hurricane over the next few days. Right now, the top wind's 115 miles an hour and some slow weakening next week, but it just doesn't bother anybody except the fish and the shipping lanes. We'll check the GFS. This is the OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars. You can see the energy over Montana coming down the pike, and that'll be a fresh change for us by Sunday. But today, no big change. Yeah, a few scattered showers, but nothing widespread. 
the the model GFS has been consistently too hot with the uh, MOS, the model output statistics. You know, every day has been thinking we're going to be in the low and mid 90s, and yesterday we were in the mid 80s. Uh, today, the GFS is showing 90. That means the high will probably be in the upper 80s. Tomorrow, same thing. Any shower is widely spaced. Uh, the GFS runs wild at 94. I don't think we get that at all. Probably closer to 90. And again, you can see that surface low down there south of the uh, of Buras, Louisiana. And that would be the ghost of Isaac, Nadine, whatever you want to call it. Maybe TD14. And there's Saturday as we start the weekend. There's your trough. Now, in recent days, the GFS not as deep with this, but still, it's going to push a cold front through here. And there you go, showers and storms. Uh, severe weather, very unlikely. Marginal instability is the main surface low is up there in Canada. Uh, rain amounts uh, about a half inch, maybe up to one inch on the high end. No flooding. And, uh, again, severe weather not likely. But no doubt it should rain at times during the day, so plan on that. Highs drop into the middle 80s. Both models, the, the NAM and the GFS have 85. Sunday, instead of this upper low trying to form near us, the, the, the model is not as deep. Uh, the amplitude not as great. But still, that's going to be a great day. Sunny on Sunday, low humidity, the high close to 80. Just gorgeous. Monday of next week, we start the day in the 50s. Uh, how will be in the low to mid 80s, low humidity. Dry Tuesday. Wednesday, we're dry, and Thursday now. If you want a long stretch with dry weather, we haven't had one in a long time, there you go. We're looking at rain-free conditions for this part of Alabama, Sunday all the way through Thursday. If you need to do something outdoors, roofing job, bailing some hay, whatever, there's your chance. We'll check the end of the forecast on September 21st. Ah, the westerlies are still a little north of here, and that just looks dry and, and warm, if that happens to be correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 3.30 or so today. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.